afternoon from Cozy Corner, everyone, from the Tabernacle of David Prophetic Dance Center in Jerusalem. I'm sitting down for this one because this is going to be a longer, a longer message. Um, I have a fire burning in my bones as I do about a lot of things. Well, first of all, I want to start out with it isn't giving that we receive, and I want to give a testimony. The other evening, I was helping out a friend of mine just talking and ministering and yesterday evening what I was ministering to my friend about I was also ministering to myself and God used that so in my giving to my friend I received I had a huge breakthrough last night and yesterday afternoon you know I was just praying into the situation with my friend and the Lord gave me a word from my friend but it was actually for me as well, unbeknownst to me. And God, it was a question that I posed to my friend. And God answered that question for me last night. I had a huge breakthrough. And I'm going to share that breakthrough. I have a very tender heart. Thank you, Lord, because it could have gone another way. And I don't desire to have anyone else's heart. I've worked a long time. He's given me the desire for healing, and I've really run after my healing and um, so my breakthrough well there's a couple of people in my life that for whatever their reasons it's very difficult for them to receive love and so when you go with your heart door wide open and they very apparently can't receive the love it can feel really bad because your heart door is wide open. And after going through what I went through about it, hallelujah, God really broke through for me. And I really want to share this because my main gift with the dance ministry is encouragement. And I live to inspire and encourage God's people and those who have not yet called upon his name, which are destined to be God's people. Hallelujah. So that would be then anyone that God would bring to me for such a time as this, a divine encounter. Okay, so we are told in Scripture to take every thought captive to Yeshua the Messiah. And we know that the battlefield is in the mind, and we know that the enemy badgers us with all kinds of thoughts. And if we're not careful, I talked about I talk about this pretty often, we won't recognize that these badgering thoughts, they're not our thoughts. And the reason why we can be deceived is because we hear them in the first person, I am this, I am that, I, 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 rather than you, you, you. Because if we heard you, 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 we can see that much easier, easily as an accusation. So we must be able to discern. And I've been talking about this. So I can feel badly if I'm loving and my loved one can't receive that love. But my feelings are a result of my thoughts. Now, I absolutely embrace my heart. I do not reject my heart. I did that for most of my life until 29 years of age. I lived on automatic pilot. And I often say my greatest weakness has become my greatest strength. And I'm an advocate of, advocate of the heart. So I don't reject my heart at all. And in my heart is the spirit of the living God. He resides there in my spirit, in my heart. And, But if I'm believing the thoughts which affect my feelings, well, there's something I can do about that. I can look at that and say, that's a lie. What I am believing is a lie, and that is affecting the way that I'm feeling. Again, I'm not rejecting my heart, but I'm discerning and I'm saying, I reject that lie. I reject that feeling that's inspired by that lie. I'm not rejecting myself, and I'm not rejecting my heart, which is so precious to God. But the way I feel is a result of what I'm believing, what I'm mm -mm -mm, gulp, chewing, and swallowing. So I love and respect my heart, but I reject the lies from the pit, which can cause me to feel bad and feel rejected. But I reject the spirit of rejection, and I reject the lie. Now, when we believe the lies, 
We're like a sitting duck. Our doors are wide open to the enemy. The enemy is using us as a pawn and just moving around the chess pieces or the, you know, yeah, the chess pieces on the chessboard the way he wants. We have to understand this. This was a big breakthrough for me. To see that my bad feelings, I didn't have to receive them because they were spun on, inspired by lies. I wasn't being rejected. These two people that I love so dearly, for whatever reason, cannot receive the love. That's not about me. It's about them. And so I pray for them. So every time the temptation comes, the enemy, the enemy wants to make me feel bad. This is what we have to see. The enemy will try every which way to come in, to enter in through open doors in our lives, usually through our heart door. And our heart doors, I think, have names on them, rejection or abandonment or whatever, whatever, whatever that it is. So we need to get a bird's eye view from heaven. And so the word that the Lord gave me from my friend was yesterday to rest in the Lord and just ask God, what do you want me to see? Just rest in him. What do you want me to see, Lord? And I guess I was asking it too, unbeknownst to me, and the Lord showed me it's very powerful because there's been times when i felt like god i i you know how do i how do i protect my heart and we protect our hearts first of all by discerning what are we believing if we're believing a lie we need to kick it to the pit immediately because if we're believing it go swallowing it that's going to affect our feelings. Again, we're not rejecting our hearts that are beautiful. We're rejecting a lie, which would then cause us to feel badly. So I can reject that feeling that's been um, inspired by a lie from the pit. So the enemy is looking for open doors in our lives, and we need to shut them so loud we hear, can hear them slam in the spirit. We need to slam those doors. We need to close every single door that is open to the enemy of our souls because he wants to, uh, for us to be flat out. He wants to steal our joy, our peace, our worship because we were created for worship. We were created for worship and that is why the enemy is always after our energy, our motivation, which helps us to worship. The enemy is always after that slam the door so the bible says that self-control is a virtue so it's a discipline of what we're thinking about we need to discipline our thoughts and the bible tells us to take every thought captive to yeshua the messiah so i bless you from jerusalem from his resting place forever let's ask the lord what do you want me to see today and God will answer. And it is in giving that we receive. And I was ministering to my friend. And the Lord gave to me. From my giving to my friend. I received a huge breakthrough. It is in giving that we receive. God bless you from the city of the great king. Yerushalayim.